The Nokia NH-L9i is a small CPU cooler that was always advertised as being good for both ITX and micro ITX systems. The NH-L9i is available for around 45 US dollars or euros, which places it right next to other small form factor air CPU coolers, especially those made by Nokia. However, this cooler was and will never be advertised to work great with high power CPUs, not only thanks to its reduced dimensions, but also thanks to the small 92mm fan used. However, just like I've said in the other review featuring the Nokia NH-L9i Chroma's Black Edition, I have no concepts of limits. Thus, I will be testing this small CPU cooler using my Intel i9-9900K and perhaps even try to overclock it to 5GHz, because why not? A good thing about the NH-L9i is that while it is small, it is still a top flow CPU cooler, which means that all the airflow of the fan is pushed down through the heatsink and out to the sides. This will actively cool the VRM components of the motherboard, which are often located around the CPU socket. The NH-L9i uses just a single 92mm fan that also has a thickness of just 14mm. The cooler is designed from the get-go to fit in most if not all systems, regardless of the limited space available, especially in a small form factor case. This is why a slim fan is used and not something bigger. Going back to the fan, this is a Noctua NF-A9X14 PWM and has a minimum rotation a speed of 600 rpm and has a maximum rotational speed of 2500 rpm. Of course, you can lower the maximum speed from 2500 rpm to just 1800 rpm if you connect the fan through a low noise speed adapter which by the way is included. Other features of this fan include rubber pads on all corners of the fan frame to further aid with the low noise operation of the cooler and the almighty Noctua SSO2 bearing system which is one of the best systems around. The heatsink of the cooler is very small. In fact, it has a height of just 23 mm without the fan installed. This means that with the fan installed, this CPU cooler has a height of just 37 mm. The build quality of the heatsink is on the same level as high-end CPU coolers such as the Noctua NHD15. Speaking of the heatsink, it has a total of around 55 aluminum-made cooling fins. These fins are quite thick and not as fragile as they might look. The NH-L9i has just two copper-made heat pipes. Each of the heat pipes has an outer diameter of approximately 6mm. The heat pipes are made from nickel-plated copper to not only add more depth to the design of the heatsink, but also to increase the overall longevity of the materials. The shape of the heat pipes is still the standard U-shape to not only allow for the heat pipes to make good contact with the base plate of the cooler, but also to make contact with all the cooling fins evenly. The base plate of the cooler is also made from solid nickel plated copper and has a flat surface with a radial sunburst pattern etched into its surface. The fit and finish of this base plate is one of the best on the market and again it is on the same level as the base found on the NHD15. The accessories included with this cooler are pretty much what you need and nothing else. You get a total of 4 thumb screws, a tube of Noctua NTH1 thermal compound, a case badge, a user manual and a low noise speed adapter to lower the maximum speed of the fan. The installation of this cooler is very simple. In fact, I hereby state that this cooler is easier to install than the standard Intel cooler included with most CPU coolers and also the AMD stock coolers. There, I said it. The installation goes like this. What you do is take those thumb screws and insert them into the socket spaces at the back of the motherboard. Then place the CPU cooler on the CPU itself and line up the pre-installed mounting arms with the thumb screws. Afterwards, you just tighten the thumb screws and the cooler is installed. If you take your time, this should take you no more than a minute or so. If you just want to get it done, it will take you no more than 30 seconds. It's that easy to install and you require no tools. And with the cooler installed, we get to see just how small the NH-L9i is, especially with an ATX motherboard which is contrasting the reduced dimensions of the heatsink. It's safe to say that you will have no issues in terms of the clearance, unless you somehow find a way to have a case that is smaller than 38mm. Before we head into the testing segment of this review, we need to see or rather hear how this CPU cooler runs. You will get to hear a noise sample of the cooler with its included 92mm fan spinning at its maximum rated speed from a dead stop. I am doing this to offer you a real and accurate idea of how this cooler sounds.
With the included 92mm fan spinning at its maximum rated speeds of 2500 RPM, the NHL9i has a maximum noise output of 30 dB, with the measuring device placed at a distance of 10 cm away from the system and thus from the CPU cooler itself. The temperature and cooling testing is done as always using an Intel i9-9900K CPU, which is running both at its factory turbo boost frequency and settings and it is also overhooked manually to 5GHz on all cores. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark, a synthetic benchmark that places a load on the CPU which is similar with what you will get when playing a modern video game. And in this test, the NHL9i reached a maximum temperature of 89 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory settings and frequency. However, with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores, the temperature reached 100 degrees Celsius. Also keep in mind that the ambient temperature for all testing is held at a steady 26 degrees Celsius. And this is pretty much what I've been saying all along. This cooler will handle an i9-9900K but only at factory settings and frequency. If you try to overclock, you'll soon reach the thermal throttling point, as the heatsink does not have enough cooling surface area to dissipate all the heat. Also, the fan can do so much with a size of just 92mm. However, the NH-L9i did cool the i9 with factory settings, so it is doing good so far. However, the next test is where every CPU cooler is pushed to its limits, because this test uses the FPU stability benchmark. This benchmark places an unrealistically high load on the CPU, something that you will only encounter if you do heavy video rendering with the CPU as a main render unit. And in this test, the NH-L9i was overwhelmed and the CPU quickly entered into thermal throttling. This is with the i9-9900K running at its factory settings, mind you, and the same 26 degrees Celsius ambiental temperature. This test showcases the obvious thing, that this cooler has its limits, even though the said limits are quite high. The Noctua NH-L9i is a very good small form factor CPU cooler that delivers on its promise of both cooling and also being quiet. The main advantage of this CPU cooler is the great clearance offered thanks to its reduced dimensions. Not only that, but this cooler will also offer some degree of active cooling for the VRM components of the motherboard, as it has a top flow heatsink design. The build quality is great and it is in fact on the same level as what you will see on the NHD15 from Noctua and older CPU coolers. In addition, installing this cooler in your system is very easy thanks to one of the simplest mounting systems to ever exist. If you are looking for a good small form factor CPU cooler, then the Noctua NH-L9i is a great choice to consider. However, if you are planning some high-end overclocking, you better look elsewhere as this cooler is not enough for high TDP CPU overclocking. If you like this review, then you can perhaps consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below you can find both the links for the Patreon and the subscriber star pages of this channel.